Hello, hello, what's up, y'all? Hey, this is your boy, Om um, Yeah, what's going, guys? Well, I pray and hope that this video reaches you out in the best of health, in the best of mind, and of course, in the best of spirit. Man, I want to share with you guys this night the story of this. Uh, of I want to share with you guys the amazing story of this uh, Italian guy uh, who goes by the name uh, uh, Gianluca Gracci. So, Gianluca Gracci owns a restaurant in his hometown, the town where he is from. He owns a restaurant there. And in the restaurant of Gianluca Gracci, uh, two Africans, two black Africans happens to be working there. And in his town, these two black guys are causing a lot of uproar from uh, people who find it hard to eat a food that is cooked or made by a black person. You understand? A lot of people in his town have approached him about these two black guys. They send him different, uh, you know, different messages. Some of them telling him why they don't, they don't, uh, they don't eat in his restaurant anymore, and uh, that has to do with the two black guys that works there. Some of them are uh, advising him to suck the two black guys. You understand? To to let go the two black guys from his restaurant. If not, he will be losing all his customers slowly. So on November four, Gianluca Gracci wrote on his Facebook page about this. Uh, so-called racists or these racists who keeps you know uh, harassing him because he has employed two black guys so he wrote the following message on his uh on his facebook page you can also check out his facebook page just by typing his name the name is uh Gianluca Garachi. you can just type the name on facebook and you'll find his facebook page yourself you can read that his very post for yourself so in the meantime, I'm going to share with you guys. I'm going to read to you guys what he wrote on his uh, what he wrote on his Facebook page as a reaction uh, to, to 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 the to the to the to the to the racists of his town. You understand? So it was actually originally written in the Italian language, but I'm going to translate it in English language so that you guys can understand it. Since um, uh, like almost 99 percent of my YouTube subscribers are are are, are, are English speakers. So I'm going to translate it to English language for you guys to understand. Here's what he, what he wrote. I dedicated to you, dear racists, at the threshold of 2024, I still have to hear uh, certain uh, things like, uh, you know, I no longer come to your, your pizzeria, your pizza house, because the last two times I went there, I found two black guys behind the counter. I'm not saying that they are dirty, but I'm just seeing them putting their hands in the ingredients of the pizza that makes me feel somehow. Another one said, uh, another one wrote to him, of course, always on Facebook. They message him on Facebook, you understand, to let him know why they don't come to his restaurant, you understand, and they also advise him to let go of the two black guys for him not to lose. Uh, 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 all his customers just like he has lost them already as his former customers you understand so another white guy big white guy wrote white guy he wrote man you are in a small town and you have to understand that you could slowly lose all your customers because our people don't feel good eating a food made by black people some other restaurants do have black people working in them as well but they keep the black people inside the kitchen. They don't allow them to come out and be seen by the customers, which might disturb the customers. You understand? Or make them uh, feel angry eating a food that they know is made by a black person, like someone with this beautiful color. Damn. <laughs> you see? So this guy wrote this on his Facebook page as a reaction to to racists who were harassing him, you understand, trolling him on social media that he's having two black guys working on his, uh, working in his restaurant in his pizza house, you understand. So I just came across the story, I find it to be like somewhat amazing how this guy, this white guy stood up for his two black employees. It is very rare to see a white person stand up for a black person, you understand. It is very rare, it is very, very difficult to see among white people no matter how friendly you be with a white person no matter how much of a friend you are it's very difficult to see a white person defending you when you're confronted with uh with some of those arrogant white guys 
who, who believe they are better than a black person and they need to disrespect black person whenever they see one you understand in order for you them to to feel good in themselves or to they assure they are you know superiority complex whatsoever so it's difficult to see a white guy who would defend you a black person you understand in in most cases in 99 percent of cases you understand in 99.9 percent .9 of cases if a restaurant owner is approached with the other white guys telling him about or the black guys he has working in his restaurant and how he's going to lose his customers the white guy instead of standing and defending the black guys what he would do is to either hide those black guys inside the restaurant like one of uh, uh, the racist is suggested to this particular restaurant owner so it's either to hide the black guys inside the restaurant so that they don't be seen by inside the kitchen so that they don't be seen by the customers or to suck the black guys and replace them maybe with Asians or with Arabs, something like that. Since they have a bit much lighter skin, cleaner skins, you understand. That can maybe, you know, make uh, 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 the whites feel comfortable eating a pizza made by them instead of a black person. <laughs> you understand? Instead of a black person, you see. So really, me personally, I don't care who loves me or who hates me, who loves black people, who hates black people. You understand but when I see someone sincerely when I see someone sincerely you understand compromises they are or put on the line or put in the line they are business by defending a black person really I kind of salute that kind of person like this guy did you understand all the people all the people in his town would because of this announcement he made because of this uh, you know uh, uh, this, uh, this because of the fact that he exposed this this uh, this racist or so approached him about the black guys working in his restaurant you understand <coughs> this could cause him to lose all his customers you understand because the reality is that uh, like I was saying 99% of these people are uh, like uh, they have I don't know who indoctrinated them or who built this kind of uh, false sense of uh, purity or false sense of superiority complex in them you go to the toilet you clean your back the same way the black guy do you are nothing nothing you understand nothing <laughs> cleaner than the black guy but you still somehow believe that you are kind of clean you understand when i don't take shower you stink as a shit just like maybe would the black guy you understand but i still you feel like that skin you have is somewhat pure to the point that you have to feel uncomfortable eating a food that is made by a black guy with this beautiful skin like this something's wrong with your freaking head so i just came across this story yesterday you understand and i have decided to share it with you guys you see i found the this italian guy to be a very courageous person i really appreciate his courage he's a very courageous person you understand very courageous very human you understand and one of a kind in the millions it is very difficult to see people like this among europeans preferably whites it's very difficult to see people like this among them you understand who would stand for a black person knowing that they are systems they are leaders they are everything they are authorities police carabiner whatever you call it they are all against black people i understand they all work they are not against black people so it's very difficult to see a person like this white guy this italian guy this restaurant owner you understand who would know all that and still stand and defend black people you understand i really appreciate his courage so that is it guys you have come to the end of this story you guys let me know in the comment space what you think of this guy you understand his courage you understand. So that's what's up, guys. Until next time, see you again. Peace out.